WMU has a, a long history uh, in its commitment to sustainability, mostly starting with energy conservation uh, efforts started in the, in the early 80s. Our concern about uh, steam usage and utility usage in general uh, was driven by our financial situation in the early 80s when the state of Michigan went through a uh, pretty significant recession. So we began to look for ways to uh, manage that utility demand. We purchased our energy at the time from the, the state hospital run power plant. And uh, at the time we were purchasing nearly 90% of the output of that plant. And there are several major studies done at the time. What would our, if we were to build our own power plant, uh, what would we need? And uh, uh, engineers who came on look at the study, look at the student population, projected growth, and, uh, and we would need uh, some major investments in generation equipment, new boilers, etc. The initial idea for the steam trap management program was both a top-down and a bottom-up uh, initiative. The technical knowledge was possessed by all of our people uh, within the facilities management division. You can't really expect us bean counters uh, at the executive level to be fully engaged in all that. But we are very supportive. Uh, we understand the concept of uh, being penny wise and pound foolish. So uh, there was buy-in uh, in both directions. Anything significant like this that has some level of specialty, there has to be partnerships, has to be. The answer is not do we take an outside firm to do it all. The answer is not to do it all in-house. The answer really is find those experts and bring them together and get the best of all minds together and work out a process and challenge each other. We have challenged Armstrong to step up to do their part and we've challenged ourselves and our staff to step up and it's been a great win-win and that's probably the major reason why this has been sustainable. For really what was a relatively inexpensive investment compared to what we were getting as, as a result, uh, the rate of return was uh, really incredible. We were, paybacks were on the order of months and not, not years at that point. After I think the second year or maybe the first year, we took some of those results, compiled them reports, submitted it to the governor's office and were recognized with our governor's energy award for those. Uh, those efforts uh, and the results we were getting. It was, uh, it was, uh, it was fun there the first uh, couple of years to see that and, uh, and to see what uh, the potential of this program. I think that's what maybe management was seeing too, that, uh, well, wow, there is some serious opportunities here. In addition to the hard dollar savings uh, that we realized through this program, uh, there are the non-tangibles, uh, such as the holistic building wide trap program inspection, the creature comfort, the optimization of the systems. So it's not just the hard value, there are side benefits for it which are beneficial to everybody. You can save a lot of money being green and uh, we proved it and uh, we just make a point of setting aside dollars that uh, we build into our recharge rates for our utilities internally to uh, plow back into more energy saving projects. And uh, it, it, it's a compounding effect that has yielded tens of millions of dollars for Western Michigan University. We've worked with many vendors over the years, and many of them produce, and they support us over time. But there are just a handful in my 31-year career in facilities that you can really count on certain vendors. When there's an issue and a problem, they step up. When we have a need, they step up. We want to save money, they give us advice, and they step up. So we, we've had a great relationship with Armstrong over the years, and it's one that we cherish. We uh, don't take for granted because we see many of them come and go. But Armstrong has been a great partner of this university for many, many years. We appreciate that, and we certainly hope that over the years we'll continue that strong relationship. I think we're all, looking back in hindsight now, all very pleased. Uh, it just reaffirmed uh, all the decisions we've made along the way. We all had confidence in what we did. We had documentation to support what we did. And we knew uh, that with a strong strategic partnership with Armstrong, you know, it's, it was a win-win for us. But I don't think any of us could have envisioned the kind of savings 
that we're enjoying now. And I would strongly recommend that any institution that's not gone down this path uh, seriously consider it. The paybacks are very quick and, and they're significant.